is Josh Friedman in Ivano Frankiv's Ukraine, where we are waiting on the stateless man, Mikhail Saakashvili, to come out and speak to a crowd here in western Ukraine. We're in a very pro-Ukrainian city with some nationalist sentiments up in the Carpathians. It's a nice setting, and there's a bit of a crowd gathering here in the central square on a Saturday afternoon, but from the looks of it, it does not seem to be like a crowd that is very supportive of Saakashvili, rather more so just a group of people who are interested in what's going on. I'll show you a glimpse. There's a large press contingent here, and there are a large, con large contingent of what looks like We're just sitting around and from talking to locals, it sounds like they're just interested in seeing what's going on and hearing the Sakajvili speak. So it doesn't seem like he's very popular here. And I don't know what kind of sign this gives in terms of the strength of this movement that he's trying to uh, bring about and his campaign to get his Ukrainian citizenship back. But we'll see what's to come. And hopefully he's going to come out and speak in just a matter of moments and I will get you some footage of that and try my best to get an interview with him, brief as it may be, if I even can get one, and just get some general reactions and sentiments to what's going on here as Saakashvili is probably drawing to the close of his tour around Ukraine after barging across the border about a week ago, he spoke in Lviv, followed by Chernivtsi yesterday. He made a brief appearance in the south in Kherson. Now he's back in the west, and he's got a court date in the far west on Monday before he's due in Kiev to speak at what's supposed to be a big event on Tuesday. So this is probably one of his last stops before his appearance in court called by his grand return, if it may be, to Kiev. So let's see what unfolds here in Ivano Frankivsk. Saakashvili should be coming out any moment now. The crowd has grown and it looks like they asked his supporters to close in on stage there were probably about 20 people who came out from the back who were carrying flags and looks like they're traveling around with him and I don't know maybe he has 100 or even 200 real supporters here it's tough to gauge I still think that a large chunk of the crowd are just people here who are interested in seeing what's going on and hearing what has to say. It doesn't look like most of the people here are passionate supporters, but the crowd has grown in size a bit. I can't tell you exactly how many, but I don't think there are any more people here than a few hundred. And here he is. По-перше, я хочу я почула, дуже я почула, я спробую, всіх подякувати. Я тут нашу. бачу людей, які разом зі мною, разом з нами були на кордоні ці кілька днів тому, коли народ України показав ще раз, вже котрий раз, хто реальний власник цієї країни. Коли ми разом, владі нема що протиставити об'єднаній опозиції. Владі нема що протиставити об'єднаному народу. Вчора я був, я їхав сюди десь 800 кілометрів, 
Тому що позавчора у нас було зібрання. І треба доручити цю справу професіоналу. Але знаєте, коли вчора я почув отця Ігоря, там нема корупції і там немає олігархів. У нас є корупція, у нас є олігархи, а у нас нема розуму. Багато емоцій, ми всі боролися і разом, і до кінця, і до перемоги. Ми ніколи не зупинимося, поки ми не переможемо. Дякую вам, друзі, слава Україні, і, до... і разом, і до кінця, разом, і до перемоги. Дякую вам. Парліце, я так з ним познайомився. Першим. Вікню, яка є з усіх центральних каналів телебачення. Mr. Sakashvili, could I get a very quick interview? Yeah, very quick. Thank you. Uh, could you quickly describe the corruption that led you? Well, you cannot quickly describe it, but actually Ukraine is uh, run by several oligarchic corrupt clans, and in terms of in terms of level of corruption, the country is one of the worst performers in the world, and which means that it's also world record holder for the low, biggest lowest growth of GDP per capita, which means that what we really need to do here is to change political class because people by themselves are very low abiding they love to act according to the rules I don't see problem with the mentality I see problem with political class that is basically uh, very corrupt and by their mentality very spoiled and what kind of person or president or administration could fix that I think uh, and I think we just need new, new generation of power the old ones are hopeless they've been around for 25 years and they've not really achieved not only not achieved anything for the country but they've badly uh, ruined any trust towards any political uh, you know politicians politicians are hated now right now in this country like in many countries of similar so in order to restore confidence you just write people and you need just break through in the right direction that's it. regarding your citizenship battle do you have a backup plan in case it goes south well look in any case I'll fight till the MC nobody expect me to be here I'm here uh, and uh, I'm here so I'm among people and I'll go I'll go further Thank you very much.